Do you ever, again, just to stay on philosophical for a bit, for a brief moment, do you ever think about free will and uh, whether that exists? Because ultimately free will sort of is this experience that we have, like we're making choices, even though it, it appears that, you know, the world is deterministic at the core. I mean, that's against the debate, but if it is in fact deterministic at the lowest possible level, uh, at, the, at, at the physics level, uh, how do you make, if, if it is deterministic, how do you make, uh, what, how do you make sense of the difference between the experience of us feeling like we're making a choice and the whole thing being deterministic? So first of all, let me give you a gut reaction yeah. to the equation. And um, the gut reaction is that it is important that we believe that there exists free will. And second of all, almost uh, by weird logic, if we believe it exists, then it does exist, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so it's very important for our social apparatus, for our sense of idea of ourselves, that it exists. And the, mo the moment in which you know we, we so want, we almost we conjure it up in existence. But again, I really feel that if you look at some point, um, the space of free will seems to shrink. We realize how more and more, how much of our, say, genetic apparatus dictates who we are, why we prefer certain uh, things than others, right? And uh, why we react to noises of music, uh, we prefer poetry and everything else. We may explain even all this. But, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, whether it ex exists in a philosophical sense or not, it's like randomness. If you can, if pseudo-random is as good as random, vis-a-vis -vis lifetime of the universe, our experience, then does it really matter? Yeah. 